Good morning, everyone. The topic that we are going to see today is about risk projection. So uh, risk projection is uh, nothing but, we have seen this uh, SPM in the previous uh, sessions, we have seen as what is a risk and what is what are the sorts of uh, risk that we might have to face when it uh, comes to um, this making of the project. And uh, when, uh, when it comes to, um, so when it comes to the risk projection, it is the attempt to rate each risk into two ways. So when it comes to the uh, risk management, we will have to first be able to figure out what is the risk that you are actually facing and what are the possibilities and what are the uh, risks that, that are uh, obviously available and um, the probability that the risk is real. So when we are making a projection, we will not be able to very clearly define whether we are uh, able to do this, uh, we can uh, do this, or we will be able to um, uh, prior and tell in prior whether this risk is, risk is going to be real or something. But the probability of the risk is something that we will have to consider about. And the consequence of the problems associated with the risk should it occur. And uh, the project plan management and the uh, 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 and technical staff perform four risk projection. So uh, the intent of these steps is to consider risk in a manner that leads to prioritization. So whatever comes, so the possibility of the risk projection and uh, the activities that we, uh, we engage while doing all these and um, the risk which cannot uh, sometimes be uh, told in prior. Sometimes we will not be able to uh, predetermine as what are the risks and what are the factors that uh, the risk will produce and so on. So when these sorts of uh, situation arises, what sort of uh, mannerism and what sort of uh, ideal ideas, uh, ideologies that we follow in um, bringing out the problem and bringing out the solution to the problems. And then we have the risk projection and elimination. So these are actually two uh, different uh, concepts. Risk projection is something that when we are working as a team, the, when there is a possibility of a risk, the whole team and the members of the team must be aware of the risk. So only if the team members are aware of the risk, then we will be able to eliminate the risk. So uh, we have to eliminate the risk and we will have to be aware that there is a risk which is well, which is approaching. So only then we will be able to figure out the solution to the risk. Then uh, what we will have to do is we will have to make a table and we will have to uh, predetermine as what is this risk and in a scale of one to 10, how would you measure this uh, risk and uh, establish a scale that reflects the perceived likelihood of a risk. Example from when it comes to uh, one to 10, so how far you will, um, you could say that uh, this uh, effect of this um, risk would be, all these can be uh, determined with them scale and its level. Then we will have to delineate the consequences of the risk, the estimate the impact of the risk on the project and product. So um, consequences of the risk. Uh, so when it comes to the risk, we will have to predetermine whether the risk would be uh, seriously causing some sort of damage or what are the consequences and so and so we will have to decide. So after that, then we will have to estimate the impact of the risk on the project and the product. 
so there is going to be a risk or uh, the impact of the risk on the project has to be predetermined and it has to be executed and it has to be cut off then uh, note the overall accuracy of the risk projection so that there will be no misunderstanding so earlier itself we will have to make an overall accuracy of the risk and uh, when the risk is uh, projected so there will be no sort of misunderstandings and thereafter we will be able to predict the overall accuracy of the risk so um, contents of the risk table i told you that we will have to uh, create a risk table and we will have to uh, mention whether it will be from uh, what is the uh, effect of the risk from 1 to 10 so if that is so you will be creating it in the form of a table right so when it comes to the making of a table what are the contents of the risk table a risk table provides a project manager with sample techniques for risk projection. It consists of five columns, risk summary, short description of the risk, risk category, one of the seven risk categories, probability, elimination of risk as currents based on group input, impact, catastrophe, critical, marginal, and negligible. Then we will have to pointer of a paragraph in risk mitigation monitoring and management plan so when it comes to all these we will have to uh, do some elimination of the risk occurrence based on the input so uh, we will be measuring whether it is so catastrophic if it is too highly catastrophic then there is going to be a drastic uh, in a effect of this uh, risk else it can be some sort of critical where you will have to implement some um, uh, some important uh, rules or regulations and then the marginal so it won't create much of uh, of a problem and finally we have the negligible it doesn't matter uh, so you need not consider it too high and then developing a risk table lists all the risks in the first column by the way of help of the risk item checklist mark the category of each risk eliminate the probability of risk occurring um, and then we have the access the impact of each risk based on an averaging of four risk components to determine an overall impact value sort the rules by probability and impact in descending order draw a horizontal cutoff line in the table that indicates the risk that will be given further attention and then we will have the accessing risk impact three factors affect the consequence that are likely if a risk does occur its nature this indicates the problem that are likely if the risk occurs its scope this combines the severity of the risk as how severe the risk would be with its overall distribution, how much was it affected, its timing, this considers that when and how long the impact will be felt. The overall risk procedure formula is RE is equal to P into C. P is the prob probability of the occurrence of the risk and C is the cost of the risk should actually occur. So, um, risk mitigation monitoring and management the effective strategy for dealing with risk must consider three issues these are not manually exclusive risk mitigation which means avoiding the risk so we will have to find a way in order to avoid the risk and then we have the risk monitoring risk management and contingency planning Risk mitigation is the primary strategy and is achieved through a, a plan. Example, risk of high staff turnover, seven principles of risk management maintain a global perspective. View the software risk within a content context of a system and the business problem that is intent to solve. Take a forward-looking view. Think about risk that may arise in the future. Establish contingency plans, encourage open communication, 
encourage all stakeholders and groups to point out risk at any time. Inter, uh, integrate risk management, integrate the consideration of risk into software process. Then we can emphasize a continuous process of risk management, modify identified risk, more become known and add new risk at better insight is achieved. Develop a shared product vision. A shared vision by all stakeholders facilitates better risk identification and assessment. Encourage teamwork when managing risk, pool the skills and experience all the stakeholders when conducting risk management activities. So these are some of the methodologies by which we find out the risk factors. So with this, we'll conclude the session. See you in the next class. Thank you.